Hi everyone, this is Saskia here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and I'm here with Fergus and we are going to do a video for Small Pet Select. I'm going to teach you how to hold your guinea pig and how to pick up your guinea pig. That is something that a lot of people ask me about like, oh my goodness, I mean, I don't even know how to hold them. I, you're teaching me how to hold them, but I don't even know how to catch them. So let's, let's talk about all these things. Okay, little man, let's... Uh, Let's get started. So, your guinea pig. You always want to use both hands when you're picking up your guinea pig. You don't want to go scoop your guinea pig like this because you don't really have any control. Plus, the guinea pig might nibble you a little bit thinking you're offering it some food. So, what you want to do is what I like to do. I like to use both hands at the same time. So, I will grab the guinea pig and then this hand will come in to scoop. And then look what I do. This little thing, this little paw goes right between my fingers and there I have a lot of control already right here. I feel a lot more secure and so does he. And then I pick him up but I never just leave him hanging. So what I do is I will support the bottom. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm supporting his bottom and he feels quite comfortable this way. Even though maybe you don't look it but he's quite comfortable. Um, so that is the way to do it. Now let's do it again, okay? You want to start from the top, you want to hold him, then you want to scoop in and immediately make sure you get that little paw here in between the fingers and then you pick him up supporting the bottom. There. Not that hard. It's practice. Really makes perfect. So go practice this, okay? Now, if you have a guinea pig who's running around in a cage and that's not as calm as this guy, you can actually use both hands as well. But maybe, you know, wait till they're in a corner. And then what I'd like to do, let's say this is the corner. Um, I, I like to use both hands as well, where one hand is kind of blocking, where the guinea pig feels a little less inclined to go run past and then that hand will go down here to hold them and then again the second hand will come in and pick them up. So there. And now let's talk about holding your guinea pig. So you have your guinea pig, you're holding your guinea pig and a lot of people tend to do this. They have their guinea pig like this but it's very uncomfortable and it's not very safe. So what I like to do is to keep the guinea pig on one side and I use my whole arm for that. This takes a little practice because I know in teaching it to people and they're like kind of struggling with it. But for me, it's second nature. Um, so, but that is what I do. I kind of make sure the little legsies are tucked in here and I'm holding him like this and he's very comfortable. I also have my hand here. So I always walk around with two hands. If I have a guinea pig that I'm holding and I'm walking around, or even if I'm not walking around, I will always have two hands, okay? Um, and I guess that's the basics, really. And then there are babies and how to hold and pick up your baby. So picking up your baby, you, you go first, first of all, you got to be a little more cautious because they can be little bit zippy cars, as I call them, or little jumping beans. So you want to be definitely a little more careful. Um, so again, you want to also use your both hands. So you want to put one hand on the baby and then the other hand will come in to scoop him up, okay? It's not, don't use just one hand because it's just not, you know, look, it doesn't look good. See, it doesn't, guinea pig doesn't look very comfortable. So always just one hand. I also see people holding a guinea pig like this, especially like the bigger ones, and that's not comfortable either for them. So always use both hands, just like that. And then sometimes when they're really little, I like to kind of place my hand in front of their face almost like a little cage where they can get out and they won't struggle because they feel that they can get out <laughs> you're making a lot of noise you're calling for your mommy <laughs> um, and uh, when you hold them closer to you you kind of want to do the same thing as you do with the bigger one but of course he fits in your whole hand but always two hands so he is very very comfortable and safe and secure so, there you go. And practice, that's really important. So, practice, okay?